Hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, we hope that you are doing well. My name is Stephanie with the Novel Neighbor Bookstore, which if you don't know, we're a bookstore located in St. Louis, Missouri. And we have a super special uh, guest this evening. We have author Bob Holt with us. Bob has been drawing since childhood, and he has now turned that passion into a career, and he's done that for years. Um, he has previously worked as an illustrator at Hallmark for 31 years, where he is the co-creator of the infamous Hoops and Yo-Yo, which are a pair of anime characters that I guarantee you will recognize, especially if you see them. Um, and they've been featured on all kinds of Hallmark cards, as well as two different holiday TV specials. Um, Bob also draws a series of cartoons called Sweet and Sour Pork that are published on GoComics.com. And what we love most, or maybe not most, but Bob is also an author from Kansas City, Missouri. And you know how we love to support our Missouri authors. So without further ado, I am going to bring on our guest this evening. Hi, Hello. Bob. How are you? Hello, everybody outside of my room. <laughs> <laughs> house yeah <laughs> how are you i'm doing good i'm doing good it's a nice day in kansas city and so no snow no below zero temperatures um, did it so rain a, for you all today uh it rained last night not okay. today i was gonna More say we've had a lot of rain today that makes sense yeah um well so what would you like me to do first or what I question do you have First, can we um, can we go through the book? Can you show us the book? Yes. That, yes. It's book birthday was on Tuesday, right? Yep. Yeah. So it's it's only two days old. <gasps> Happy two day birthday. <laughs> it still isn't potty trained yet, but we're hoping <laughs> soon that I'll use the big potty. Cross fingers. Cross fingers. Yeah. So it'll make my life easier because it cries in the middle of the night now. I have to keep getting up to take it to the potty. Oh my All God. sorts you of dirty words that. come out of it, and you have to like make sure you flush the dirty words down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, tell us about it. It's called Let's Talk About It, right? Oh, sorry, not Let's Talk About It. Let's talk about how great you are, is what it's yeah, called. Yeah, let's talk about how great you are. It's just a, a book that encourages like all the things you do well in life. It's sort of like a uh, big hug from your mom and dad or your aunt, aunt and uncle, something like that. So it's just a good encouraging book. You cannot yeah. go wrong with this book. Well, and who doesn't need affirmation right now? I know. And it's full of dad puns. <gasps> so um, it all sounds like it'd be a perfect Father's Day gift. <laughs> it could be a perfect. <laughs> if you like your father, this is the book for you. <laughs> we actually do have people that come in the store specifically looking for dad puns. There you go. This would be an easy because it's a uh, yeah. res reasonably affordable and it's hardback so dad can't hurt it and stuff like that so that's perfect i'm well, promoting my book any way i can <laughs> well we are big fans of it and we have it available at the bookstore um can you tell us any puns that are in it you want me to read the book that'd be great yeah i can read the book that way i can remember what that's inside it <laughs> that's perfect okay it's got this wonderful uh in pages, I think that they call them. This is my first book, so I'm learning all the book terminology. When they first told me about this page, I'm like, it's what? It's like, the that's the page you okay. sign. So you put your name right there to whoever you're giving it to, right next to the pickle. So let's talk about how great you are by Bob Holt, me. That's you. <laughs> Hi, diggy dog, it's you. Glad I could catch up with you. Get it, catch up, hot diggity dog. There you go. You gotta see all the pages. I worked really hard on this. I love it. I love that. Uh, page two. So happy to know ya. Uh, P jokes are always good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They play you well. Cannot go wrong with a P joke. You walk my world. Let's spread the news. My daughters love guac. Guac goes on everything. Toast, tacos. Uh, here we go again. You're a smarty pants. Deal with it. I'm trying to get this all in. <laughs> there we go. No, I can 
that's it. Yeah. That's it. And we're not gherkin around. Now, most people might not know what gherkin is. A gherkin is a type of pickle. So it's another pun at no added cost. I know. It's a bonus pun. It's a bonus pun. Oh, here's my favorite pages. Donut how you donut how you do it, but you do it with style. Ooh. And donut says, I'm a morning person. I love that donuts. Is, that feels like a very good dad pun. It is. Dads, yeah. all dads love donuts. Give him the this book and a dozen donuts and he'll be happy. And maybe he'll buy you that car. Remember, not every day will be grape. See, raisins. Oh, that's, I got to remember that's for the next page. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all grape. And Sunday, oh, Sunday's a lemon. Ooh. Sunday scaries. I won't tell that to my pastor that Sundays are lemons, but <laughs> he be sad. Okay. I gotta remember how to read. Things won't always go that go your way. You can bank on that. Bacon. Bake on that. Some days will leave you sizzled. Mm. See, this is like for your dad. This is how your dad feels at the end of the week. Like an overcooked piece of bacon. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Let me give you a few asparagus tips. Like the one I have to use all the time. Oh, I don't have to use anymore. I used to. Please shower. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, if you love pasta, don't let pasta, don't let life pasta you by. Wee. Pasta is my passion. It's a nice ravioli there. Well, that's perfect. It can be like, can make it for the St. Louis version. It's a toasted ravioli. Oh, is that the big thing in there in St. Louis? Oh, yeah. It's what we're known for. We're just barbecue. Everybody knows that. Well, yes. But my doctor said I shouldn't eat it anymore. Life is good. Take it one slice at a time. Oh, I'm sorry. I said life is good. Life is Gouda. Take it <laughs> once. I missed my own pun. You missed the cheese pun. <laughs> and then the other little pun is, I have no doubt how great you are. Great is like grating cheese. Not great cheese. You'll always find a raisin to smile. I feel okay. grape. Now, for all you kids that don't know, raisins are made out of grapes. So it's a double pun. It's a bonus pun. Bonus pun. Should you worry? Nah, you can't be beat. A little side note, beets are considered a superfood. So if you want a superfood, eat a, eat a beet. I did not know that. And uh, just a little heads up, like in the morning next day when you use the bathroom, things will be a little magenta, just a head, heads up. Don't panic. <laughs> don't, don't panic. Don't call your doctor and say, everything's magenta. Then he'll go, did you have any beets? And you say, yes. Oh, this is a good one. Because everybody loves butter. Nobody knows butter than you. Done that, buttered that. Oh. Been there, buttered that. I love the butter. Okay, this is going to, it's going to test everybody's like potato knowledge. So. Hi. Conquering life's challenge can make you feel like a new potato because that's a new potato it's the little red ones that you don't really peel yeah. you just boil them and cook them yeah one of my just, favorites yeah they're delicious oh this this is my favorite page actually it's becoming apparent you're one of a kind i'm not per perfect but i'm but i'm me mm. i just love the pear i love the pear down that's a happy pair. I love this pair down there just hanging out. There we go. Here's the last page, big finale. Okay, drum roll. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Oops. So, so let's all yell, Yahoo! Do the salad spinner. Oh my gosh. The salad Hello. spinner is actually one of my favorite uh, kitchen utensil things. 
because I like to see how fast I can get it. My wife always tell me like, you don't need to spin it that hard. But I tell her it's, it's very fun. It's satisfying. <laughs> hey, that gets you to eat salad. Like, yes. is that a good trade off? Get the salad spinner out and see how fast you can spin it. Oh my gosh. I, I remember I did not grow up with a salad spinner in my home. Um, I remember watching um, someone use one for the first time and I was like, what does uh -huh. that do? Like, I know. Wow. Then you see how fast you can stop it. But my mom, oh. who lives with us, she's still the old uh, get it washed and to get a, like a big towel and put it in the towel and dry it in the towel. Oh, okay. She's not about the salad spinner. No, she's a little scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, well, we have a question that I think leads into what else we need to do very well. But Kelly wants to know. Did you also illustrate the book or do you just come up with the puns? No, I illustrate it too. <gasps> yes. So um, I had to buy a lot of veggies. <laughs> <laughs> so that you had inspiration? Yes. Yeah, uh, so well, I had to photograph it. So um, the bacon was, I think, the hardest part. I mean, it was hard to get a, a nice piece of bacon that didn't look weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can you do a demonstration for us now? Of drawing something? Yeah. Okay. That might be, well, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Kelly loves the illustrations. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I try. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. I'm trying to figure out, see. Uh, oh, here's one. I gotta draw it, let's see if I can draw it, okay. Now I'm going to write what it says. <laughs> Don't be such a deadbeat. <laughs> a deadbeat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and then I you can make some like, you know, You can make some little um, some little angel beats coming down to greet him because he's dead. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's getting Barbie thinks that's very funny. Um, <laughs> there were some guesses in here. At first, people thought it was a radish. Um, well, I think they're in the same family, but yeah. um, I mean they yeah. grow the same way, like a carrot. A radish, a beet. So it, I'm going to draw one that I found on um, that I found on the internet. A pun. Okay. But I think it's very funny. Okay. Okay. First, I'll draw the. First, I'll draw the. Oh, there's a dog. Uh, first, I'll draw the veggie. Oh, I gotta remember how to draw this. Yeah. Okay. We have guesses about the veggie. Uh, that's not very good. Actually, I've never driven. I've never drawn this veggie. Um. So there's a veggie. Broccoli. Lots of guesses for broccoli. Okay, now I got to write the pun. Okay. Well, it's sort of a joke. Uh, I'm going as fast as I can. You're fine. Take your time. Oops. Okay. 
There we go. What's what's Michelle's Obama's favorite veggie? Brock Ali. Ah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would not I did not see that one coming. Hey, I, I read that one today. I thought it was pretty darn funny. I don't know who wrote it, but we used to always think oh. the, the joke all the jokes were written by guys in prison because they had nothing else to do but sit around and, and write jokes. Oh my gosh. Well they <laughs> um, <laughs> Some people liked, oh, just to go back to some comments, Barbie liked um, the please shower, which I think was part of the asparagus tips that you. Uh, That's my friend from uh, Ohio, Barbie in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Hi, Barbie. Um, and lots of love for weird bacon, too. Barbie loved weird bacon. <laughs> uh, Karen loved being able to see this in person. Um, oh yeah, I've known them both for like a long time. They were Hoops and Yo-Yo fans, but I've never met oh, them. Really? Probably for like 15 years at least. We've been like pin pals. Um, Stephen Meyer also says, this guy's as corny as me. I love it. Uh, I think he's my wife's friend. <laughs> my wife. Well, and we just mentioned hoops and yo-yo. Can you show them to us if people don't recognize them by name? Because I feel like everyone, yeah. I was like, this is hoops and yo. This is uh, this is hoops. This is yo-yo. I was the voice of this character, yo-yo. Okay. And this was Piddles. That was voiced by uh, Beverly Carlson, and hoops was by Micah Dare. And uh, yeah, they were fun. And the kids uh, always ask, like, can I do the voice? I mean, can you do the voice? I can do the voice with a little help from, I'll be right back and I'll be able to do the voice. Okay. Oh, work and I won't hurt myself. Now, oops, not enough. Now I'm Yo-Yo from Hoops and Yo-Yo. Hello, kids. Hello, Barbie. Hello, Karen. Hello, Steve. <laughs> it's going to wear off soon. <laughs> no, we got a great moment in there, though. I'll tell you a little story. Okay. Years ago when I first bought that can of helium, I forgot, I forgot why I bought it, but I was going to make my voice high while I was at home. I was by myself, stupidly. So this is a warning to all kids, don't do this. I took a big gulp of that helium and it must got down in my lungs and something. But I thought like, oh no, I'm killing myself at home with a big bottle of helium. So I had to take like, <laughs> I had to lay on my bed for about a half hour. Oh my gosh. Yeah, pretty like, no, I cannot kill myself with a bottle of helium. No. Oh so my that's God. A little, okay. That's a little so tip. Fair warning about how much Do not helium. play with helium. It's a poisonous gas. I don't think I knew that. Yeah, uh, it's not really a good thing to play with, around with like a whole lot of it. Yeah, yeah. all right, yeah. noted. Check noted. In. Um, Sue wants to know, if you think in puns? Do I think in puns? That would be dangerous. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, and that brings up the question, how did you think of these puns? Um, have you just been like collecting them for a while or did you like sit down and were like, I'm going to come up with puns? How did this book come about? It's a little bit of both. Like, like you know, the taco puns been around like, you know, or the nacho one. They've just been around forever. You see them on people's t-shirts and, and all sorts of stuff. So you just sort of like, I don't know, you just sort of like grab them all together. And then you put your own twist on it to, so that they work within the book. So we had to make it so that they worked as, you know, uplifting puns and not just uh, little gags. So, yeah. I am. Are you continuing to write puns or are you doing other <laughs> things you're writing? I'm off the pun train for right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm doing some other books. I've got um, two books coming out with uh, a publishing group in Tennessee, a Christmas book and a Easter book. Okay. And then I have another book coming out um, in November. It's an interact interactive book. I think the kids will really like. 
Yeah. Okay, so we need and to then see I have a uh, graphic novel book coming out. It's going to be a while. Okay. So that's on the further horizon. Yeah, because it takes a long time to illustrate and write all those pages. Yeah. Well, people are very excited that they have more to look forward to. Um, and Sarah said that her sister, Lori, and her are totally fans and also love Hoops and Yo-Yo. Oh, cool. So that's exciting. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and Aaron's excited that there's going to be more books in the future. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> have you always known? I mean, how did you? So you've always loved drawing. Did you think that you wanted to translate that in books? Or um, what was that process like for you to be an author? Um, yeah, I was thinking I was, was going to get into books just illustrating. Okay. My, uh, my rep. Um, my rep got a hold of me. She went to my portfolio and she really liked my characters, the unlucky snowman, which is animated. And then she thought we could take that animation and turn it into a book. And I was only planning to do books. I mean, to illustrate books. But then once she took me on, she became my rep. And then I decided, like, I tried to write some books and that sort of went from there. That way I can, I can generate my own work without having to wait for somebody to like, want me to illustrate their book. Yeah, totally. Um, how did you get into, um, you've been drawing for so many years. How did you get into that in your younger years? And like, what advice do you have for a young illustrator? Um, yeah, I used to always draw from as long as I can remember. Okay. My parents encouraged my dad like, like to draw so it was encouraged and uh it was the best thing i did <laughs> you know <laughs> but i have a uh for all you kids out there when you're in english english class or what do they call it now com arts pay attention because <laughs> all that all that grammar and writing is very important yeah and uh it helps when you get older i found out well, and how um, did you just like grow your talent by experimenting with drawing different shapes and figures? Did you like yeah. research how to draw you things? Know, as a kid, like I used to draw like different characters, like di different Disney characters or um, Warner Brother characters. And then you just start like drawing your own characters. Um, your own variations. But when I was at Hallmark, I'd, I did mostly humor cards. Like I worked in the shoebox division. I mean, shoebox cards were big at Hallmark. I did that. That was fun. That sounds so fun. Um, I suspect there's an inside joke coming through. Um, there's no man like a snowman other than Bob Holt. <laughs> I think she's referring to my uh, unlucky snowman characters that are on my portfolio site. So he's there. He's very unlucky. <gasps> oh. No. And here's a little tidbit: the music in the background is done by one of the premier jazz pianists in the world, Jeffrey Keezer. He's played with uh, Chick Curry. He's played with uh, the Jazz Messengers, uh, Ray Brown. He's, he's played with all the best jazz people in the world. And he's the background and the, mu the music in the background. Did you get to work with him on that? Or was those, are those like totally separate entities? Um, I worked with him. He used to like do our music for Hoops and Yo-Yo. He did the jazz music. Okay. So I we've gotten together a few times. Um, he's very nice. So That's check him out, jeffreykeezer.com. Um, he's a very good musician. And of course, during COVID times, he needs all the help he can get too. Um you're getting a uh, lots of love, your sister in law. Um, Linda. Oh yeah. Linda in Ohio. Hi Linda. Linda in Ohio. She's, they're all so proud of you and it's so exciting that they to, um, that you get to share this with all of us. So. Yay. Linda's a very nice sister-in-law. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, you hear that? Also, <laughs> love. Um, also I think some other characters that people are loving from your past are the reindeer with the coffee that gets run over. Yes. It's one of my little animated gifts. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Oh yeah, and then lots of love for Ohio, which yeah can condone too much love for. Well, I can condone love for Ohio, um, but <laughs> I we are Michigan football fans, so I can't uh, oh. condone love to Ohio State football. But so I, I'm originally from Iowa, so I'm still a Hawkeyes fan and a Cyclone fan. Oh, nice! Yeah. I didn't realize you were really from Iowa. Yeah. Um, what brought you to Missouri? Hallmark. Okay. That makes sense. That was I should. I was. I lived in uh, Mason City, Iowa, right? Uh, only about five miles outside of town where Buddy Holly died. That's our claim oh. to fame. Yeah. We flew wow. out of our airport. That's it. Do not so fly so cool. on on snowy days in January. Oh, Lori has Ohio love, but is a Michigan alum, so. I think oh we can all- yeah, Lori from <laughs> uh, she's down from around Cincinnati. She used to send us Graders ice cream when we were oh, doing hoops. And yo-yo. What she'd a great this, friend! She'd send this big container full of all their flavors, and we'd go nuts. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> That's a great yeah. friend. Yes. Uh, well, if you're ever in St. Louis, we have to take you to Ted Drew's. That's our famous. Oh, um, Ted Drew's makes. They're called concretes, and yeah. um, you're like the claim to fame is like you can turn them upside down and they won't fall no, out. No. Um, so that's our that's our big ice. So if you're ever here, you're a drive through town for us when on our trips to Ohio. You're like, <gasps> well, you have to do a stop at the store sometime on your I drive will. to Ohio. I will. <laughs> Usually we're doing the loop around. Oh sure, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, we see you miss any. There's t- so many comments. Um, love seeing everyone so participatory. Oh, I did miss. Um, people had lots of love for the avocado pun. Oh, well. you know they've also become huge sellers for baby rattles and teethers. Stephen said. <laughs> um, oh, and I forgot to point out. I do have to return back to the fact that the dead beat angel beats around it. The angel beats made people laugh. Oh, good. And, That's a funny bonus for sure. Um, Well, if anyone has any other questions, um, feel free to let us know before we wrap up. Yeah. Um, Ask me anything. Oh, Hoops and Yo-Yo. I just have met a lot. Lori said Hoops and Yo-Yo were so kind to her sick brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a sad story. Um. But that's what it that's the wonderful thing about art. I love like I love tonight that learning about different things of how your art has connected with different people. That's so beautiful. That's that was the best. I always tell people that was the most fun thing about doing hoops and yo yo was all the friends we we made. Like a lot of those people you we've talked to tonight were hoops and yo yo fans. And I've never met Lori either. Lori really? or Aaron or Barbie. No. Mm-mm. Oh man. But so we've cool. known each other for a long time. And we support yeah. each other all the time too. So well, and that's how it's been on the COVID world, right? Like these virtual events are not something that we did as much before. And now yeah. we can connect with people across different states. Not that I'm not tired of us not being able to be in person, but there is um something to be able to use the space to connect. Um yeah. so that's I'm gonna do a shout out to Jules. I know you're out there, Jules. Shout out to Jules. All right. Love that. Out there in the uh, San Diego area. She just got a new job. She's That's had MS for years, but she's just got herself a new job after years and years of school. That's incredible. Yep. Um, well, any final puns or, well, oh, I forgot to ask you. What is your favorite pun? Do you have a favorite pun? My favorite pun. Oh man, I don't. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I think it would be hard after you spent so much time with puns. Hey, do you a- want to hear one of our favorite hoops and yo-yo talking mugs? Yes, yes, I It'll do. Get a laugh. I think the people want to hear it. Okay, I'll play it. They they probably know it, but I thought I'd play it. Let's see, I can do this. Oh, now it's not working. Come on. <laughs> 
stuck in my head now <laughs> there's nothing better than a good pee joke and a good pee pun which is also in the book which is in the book to... kids moms dads friends buy more of these books make stephanie yeah. and me happy yes exactly It'll make my rep happy too right rachel <laughs> <laughs> make everyone happy so rachel um, will keep me on and keep pitching my Sort of good ideas. Well, I think your interactive book is amazing. So I think you have lots of great ideas to come. Yeah, that one should be good. Um, well, thank you so much for stopping by tonight <laughs> and providing us like so many great laughs and um, just an awesome time to connect. And yeah. uh, your book is amazing. Thank you so much. Again, I think people, this is a great title for it's great for gifts. It's great for cheering somebody up. It's great for someone who loves some bad like dad jokes or some dad puns at yep. certainly. Um, and so maybe Father's Day around the corner or any graduate. I think we always have people looking for like, what can I get as a fun thing for a graduate? And I feel like yeah. anything that's affirming that makes them laugh and um, but also affirms who they are and tells them that they're amazing uh, is a that's great. Thing. So lots yep. of different giving opportunities for us in the future. Well, good. And we all can thank our lucky beat angels. Our beat, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. All okay. right. We'll see you later, everyone. Bye.